Just this month, something pretty surprising happened. You see, there's a new Sonic game coming out later in the year, and a few weeks back, the game's theme song was revealed, called Vandalize. But there's actually two versions of this song. There's the one used in Sonic Frontiers, which sounds like this. And then there's the version on Spotify. Those lyrics are pretty different. In fact, there's more adult language throughout the song. So people online were pretty shocked when they found out this was the theme tune of the new Sonic game. I mean, Sonic's this bright, colourful mascot character. You don't expect his games to feature swearing. But this isn't the first time something like this has happened. Because back in 2003, there was an incident where Sonic himself swore. Let me tell you all about it. In 2003, Sonic wasn't doing so great. Sega's mascot character had been around for 12 years at this point, and he didn't feel so fresh anymore. He was created to sell Sega's consoles, but by this point, Sega wasn't even making consoles anymore. The newer games in the series had sold well, but not as well as Sonic 1 or Sonic 2. And so, Sega decided to try and promote Sonic in a big way. And they decided that 2003 would be, quote, the year of Sonic. A bunch of new Sonic things were announced this year. Sonic Adventure was ported to the GameCube, Sonic Advance 2 came out in America, a new mainline Sonic game was released, Sonic Heroes. Plus, Sonic was even featured in McDonald's Happy Meals. Basically, Sega wanted to make sure people were surrounded by Sonic at all times. This was Sonic's year. And even if people turned on their TVs, Sonic would be there. Because Sega announced a brand new Sonic anime called Sonic X. It was animated by TMS, a well-known anime studio that's been around for 75 years. In fact, only two years later, Sega bought TMS. But this story takes place before that happened. So, Sonic Team had really high hopes for this new anime. Yuji Naka, the creator of Sonic, said he hoped this anime would do for Sonic what the Pokemon anime had done for the Pokemon games. Wow. However, when the series actually began airing in Japan, it wasn't a huge success after all. In fact, ratings were low enough that the third season, which had been finished, wasn't even aired in Japan. But when Sonic X was dubbed into English, it was a different story. American audiences seemed to enjoy Sonic X much more than Japanese audiences did. So let me play you a clip from an episode of the English dub. It's from episode 2. Sonic the Hedgehog and Cream the Rabbit are trying to escape from this scary looking military base, when suddenly they're spotted by security cameras. Here's what happens next. And so the two run for their lives. So that scene seems pretty normal, right? Certainly no swearing or anything like that. But that's just the English dub. Check out the exact same scene from the Japanese version of the episode. Shit. Go. Shit. 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 Sonic says shit in English too, not in Japanese. Why does he do that then? Well, the reason why is actually pretty surprising. In Japanese, the word shit is kuso, kuso. But it's actually a little more complicated than that. Say you're watching some anime and a character says kuso. kuso. The English subtitles probably translate the line to crap or damn instead. You see, while kuso does directly translate to the word shit, it's actually much less offensive than its English equivalent. In fact, a lot of Japanese swear words are like that. They're just not quite as offensive as they are in English. So, if a character in a show does say kso, then a good translator will recognize that a word like damn or crap actually conveys the meaning much better than a harsher swear word would. And this translation process is where I think the problem might have taken place. Because if the person who wrote this episode's script typed kso into some kind of Japanese to English dictionary, it probably didn't come out with crap or damn, but instead the word Sonic ended up saying. Shit. Hi. But why did he say it in English? 
Well, at the end of the day, it's a creative choice that the scriptwriter made, but Sonic has been mixing English words into his Japanese speech for years now. In fact, his Japanese voice actor, Junichi Kanemaru, was hired specifically because he was able to pronounce English words quite well. In Sonic Adventure, the very first word Sonic says when you start a new game is great in English. Great! And the game is chock full of English phrases, too. Hello, everybody! My name is Sonic! How to play with Nekos? You made it! You got it! So, this isn't the only time that somewhat adult language has appeared in Sonic. In the game Shadow the Hedgehog, Shadow himself won't stop saying damn again and again. Where's that damn fourth chaos emerald? Damn you! Damn it. And then there's a song from the game Sonic Rush Adventure that sounds a lot like it has swearing in it. See if you agree. But this one incident from Sonic X is the only time that Sonic himself has sworn. So here's what I think happened. The script writer for this episode wanted Sonic to say something like, damn, let's go. But Sonic often uses English words and phrases, so to make the line sound more Sonic-y, they decided to translate the Japanese word for damn, kso, into English. But instead of translating how the word is actually used, they incorrectly used an overly direct translation of the word. All of that, I think, is how the final line ended up sounding like this. Shit. Oh, and if you liked hearing about Sonic swearing, you might also enjoy my video I made a while back about when Mario swore. And thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. And I'll see you next week. Bye!